Hi YouTubers, this is Johnny and welcome back to my channel Asac. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to use one command to enable FTP and HTTP services on your Linux servers. It is common problem how will you quickly share your files with others when you're working on your Linux servers either locally or in the cloud. Here is a way I just learned to make this process simple and easy. Using just one Python command to get your FTP and HTTP service up and running. Let's start it. Okay, I have to admit it. I might be over exaggerated about the one command thing. Actually, if you look at my post, one Python command to start FTP or HTTP service, you will find lots of other commands to set up environment. You may need to update your system first. You also might need some command to disable or firewall or add firewall rules. But once you have your environment set up correctly, you should be able to choose just one command to start your FTP and HTTP service. In this video, I'm going to have four different steps to start FTP, start HTTP, to start uh, both services, and how to set up environment, of course, first. I'm using two different Linux servers. One is Ubuntu, one is uh, CentOS. This is the latest Ubuntu version uh, 20.04. Sent OS 8. The first thing, of course, you need to update uh, your system, get the available package list, and then upgrade it. One command to do that. For Ubuntu, we got um, some packages, so we're going to wait it down and then we're going to continue. Uh, Python version has version 2 and version 3. You can use in this command to check the version. There's no this command, uh, just in case you have Python 3. It's already been installed, Python 3 here. So we are having Python 3.8.5 already installed on our Ubuntu. For CentOS, it's also 3.6.8 has been installed. Just in case you don't have that, you can use in command to install it for CentOS can yum install Python three T 
since it's already been installed, there's nothing we need to do. It's also been installed. Uh, if you want to install Python 2, then you can use this command to go to get the Python 2, get it installed. It. Then you will need to install pip. Now uh, for the Python 2, this doesn't have pip here, but we can install version 3 pip. So let's uh, follow Ubuntu. Same thing, we need to um, follow our CentOS. Also, pip has been installed. Last step, we need to install a module for our FTP service. For send OS, that's the command. This module is necessary for FTP service. If you are running only HTTP service, you don't need this module. Perfect, that's our environment set up. Environment's ready, so we can just use one command to put in the FTP service up, which is Python 3-m. By default, FTP service is running on port 2121. Anonymous account can be logged in. Right now, it's running in the front, so we cannot quit from here, we just control C stop it. You can use a um, no hub command to put it into the background. And then we can use in curl. Port 21, 21. And we also can try it from internet. We can use net to FTP client. Let's get our public IP. We can see if it's working. Unfortunately, it's not working. That's because of the local firewall. We have to disable our local firewall from here. Let's see if UFW has been enabled. No, not there's no U, UFW. Then we it's IP tables. So to simply flush or lures, just IP tables, dash F. It's clean now. If you have firewall on your cloud VPS, you also have to open the port 2121. I already did it on my cloud server, so I just need to disable local firewall and then try it again from the internet.
Oh, we are in now. So that's basic steps. You need to use in one command after you set up your environment, one command to bring your FTP service up. Then you need to disable your local firewall or add the firewall rules in. Uh, if you are using cloud VPS, then you need to cloud firewall to uh, add less 2121 port. Same thing, we're going to do it on our CentOS server. We're using one command to bring our FTP service up. You have to put the um, end sign at the end of the command. We can get our server's public IP. Then we can give it try from the internet. Again, it's not working and local firewall. So firewall CMD shows the firewall is running, then we can disable it. Now we are able to log in from remote. We can do the same thing for enabling HTTP service. No hub Python 3 dash M. You don't need any module or library to, to be installed first. You can just enables http.server to bring the service up. We need to put the end sign at the end of the system and then we can curl localhost. By default the port is 8000 and if 8000 port opened on your cloud VPS as well and then you sh we should be able to access it from the cloud. Let's give it a try. Put the port in. Beautiful. So it's working. And we do the same thing on our Ubuntu server. No hub Python three dash m http dot server and sign. Since the local firewall has been disabled and the cloud VPS firewall also added the rule for 8000, we can directly access to it. You can download the files here. And then you can directly open it. To see the output as well.
Now it's time to show you the command, one command to bring both service up. First thing we have to stop the service we already started. We can use in FG command to bring the job from the background to foreground and the control C to stop the service. Foreground again, this is FTP job, just stop it again. Now the command is simple and I already put in my blog and just copy to here. You can basically you just uh, put both commands together but uh, you have to let the first command and the second command output to different files and then in that way you can have both at the same time. So we can test it again. This should work in. Same thing on our center of server. Just using foreground. Stop the service. Foreground. Control C stop the service. And then one command. Just one command. You can bring both service up. And uh, we can test it again. So we get the FTP dot out, HTTP dot out. And the FTP is still working. FTP out and HTTP out. That's all for today's video. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy it. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that and give me a thumb up. Thank you.